Hello, Rhoda here. Welcome to my craft room. Today I'm going to do a little flip through for you today of a recipe journal that I made using some stuff from a jewel design. She's on Etsy and uh, I used her shabby retro recipe keeper uh, kit in her retro baking words. So the cover here I made with um, the Tim Holtz and of course this is called retro oven. And I couldn't resist. So I made my little oven. I tried to keep in the colors that she had in her kits. I used a little teapot uh, cut out here. I've used a little mixer in here as well. But those are some cute little items that you can use. I also made um, a type of a, a closure here. Like an old tab uh, booklet kind of a deal. It's just Velcro. Some of her... Die cuts are here. She has little journal cards. I use some cute lace. But this is like a um, 8.5 by 11 piece of cardstock. Uh, and here's the opening is where you see her beautiful retro designs. I did go in here and use some um, shabby, uh, distressy kind of things to, to, to do it up, you know, right? <laughs> so here is one of her file folder. She has three file folders and two single folders that make up the basis of her uh, recipe keeper. And then you have things that she had for uh, recipe cards. This was one of her pockets. I've used her things in different ways. Here I've used uh, some rickrack, which, you know, that has to be retro. I also used some of my own papers that were close to the colors in her kit. I did stenciling. Here's uh, like a crackle design I did on this one. And I wanted to make it where I could write in it. And you can see more of the papers that she has in her kit. And I use splash designs. And a lot of her words are throughout. I used everything that was in her kit. It was so cute. Look at all the little, like the hanging rod. And you got the uh, timer. It was just perfect. Now here she has these cards in her kit that are supposed to be instantly backed and you'd glue both of these together. Well, I went rogue and I did my own thing. So I made it like a little flip. Now you can still write your recipe on there. And then I'll put a little dot here to hold it shut. She has a page of cutouts here as well um, at the end of her kit. And I've used a bunch of those throughout here as well. <laughs> now, here, here's a tuck I made, and I just couldn't resist putting this possum stew in here. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> and I did a little stenciling on the back of it. I did stenciling throughout to give it more interest. And here was uh, the three big jars. Now, who didn't remember these canisters in their mom's kitchen? And there was always four of them, I thought. Now, they don't have the fourth one, but it's sugar, coffee, and tea. I always thought one was flour. <laughs> so this is this is a little different. But I did a little stenciling on her pages here, her file folders. I put words throughout. This is like a bookmark that you could use. It was some of her cutouts that I just kind of put together. And this was another one of those old recipes I had, and I made it a double tuck. So you can tuck something there and there. Now this image is from another kit that I had that had uh, uh, kitchen items with it. And I, I blended those in as well. I'm always mixing kits. You know how it is. And here was just uh, something. Now this was from uh, that same kit. Uh, something about coffee and me. Now I don't drink coffee. <laughs> so I'm not sure why I got the kit, but... It works for here. Uh, here's just a little montage of those three little canisters again. And who doesn't love a cupcake? Now this is the two pieces. They were two little file cards that I actually put together with washi tape. And I thought that worked. I like that little polka dot too. Uh, here is another type of design I did with the recipe card. And this was also from that other little kit had all the perfect little items in it and I tried to pick the colors that would go with it. She has these little tabs which I also utilized here. Some more her cutouts. This was a 
another of her recipe cards that I actually found a recipe that fit on it, hamburger pie, <laughs> and it I made it into a tiny little booklet, and it has baker on that side, and it tucks right in that little skinny pocket. <clears throat> Here's the other side of that. Now I love these old um, spice kind of containers. We we had tons of those things. They were so neat. Can't find them anymore unless you go to the swap shops, I guess. And I tried to put a little bit of this and that. Now, she has this beautiful brown in her kit, which I didn't have a brown. These are all dyed papers that I did. The teal, the orangey color, and or the green. But I could not get this one. But this is, you know, perfect. Now, this is a belly band. And what I did is I put a little glue line there with this extra piece, and it just hangs right on the belly band. And you can still tuck something in behind if you chose. Here's some really great grunginess here. Look at that. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> I love grungy. Here was another pocket that has a Norwegian meatball recipe. Now, here's where you can actually see what her little card was to be like, and you're supposed to glue it in here. I left it open so it's more like a two-sided two journal card. And look at this design. Isn't that neat? Here I just kind of ripped an edge to give it a, a grungy look. And here's one of her journal cards. And I love this one. This is a, a actual index card from an old recipe metal box that I got at a swap shop. And I loved that. I had to put that in there. That's just kind of a design I made for a tuck. Here is the other side that I've got the same kind of a journal card flip out. And this brown, I wanted to be able to write on it, so I used a part of that um, backing. It was to go on the back of one of these journal cards that I use in a different way. So I used it here. I try to use everything that's in the kit. Now here was a tuck, and I, I've got some old recipe cards over here that I've been typing up a recipe book, and they're typed on the index card, and I'm going to tuck some of those in here. That's going to be perfect for that. Now here is the back, and I did what I call a 3 2 one journal card. It's got a little pocket here, and here's one of her uh, sayings that came with her retro uh, faking words you are beautiful and then here is another one that's in this side tuck here do not ever let me go and i can't believe i had a, a stamp <laughs> that was a donut <laughs> now this is a flip up here where you can write underneath of it and then this is another flip up where you can write underneath of it and i have it glued down to where i have this in the back and it's a play on words about cupcakes. And this <laughs> it's got cups all over it. I try to make it a little scene. Like this is the the uh, uh, tiles on the back of your, your counter. There's your canisters. Here's the other saying, you bake me crazy. And there's that other little um, die cut I was talking about, about the mixer. But that's all. And then it's got one of her pages on there where you can write on the back of it. So, I hope you enjoyed that and want to make one. Everybody seems to be making a recipe book for Christmas. And I'm going to make a journal with mine. So, I hope you have a great day. And thank you for watching and thank you for visiting. Bye-bye.